in this video, we're going to learn how to find out the equation of tangent and equation of normal. Now, prior to this, you should know how to find out the equation of a straight line, which is y equals to mx plus c, or there's another way to do it, which is y minus y1 equals to m x minus x1, okay? We'll find out what that is uh, as we go along. Okay, so now if you remember when we started differentiation, I told you guys at the very beginning that the primary purpose or not, if not the primary purpose, the one of the very important reasons why we study differentiation is so that we are able to find out the gradient of a curve at any particular point. Now, what that basically means is that if you were to have a tangent at that particular point, the gradient of that tangent can be found using differentiation. And we do the exact same thing in math, but in math, we do that graphically, okay? We actually draw a tangent and we find out the gradient. And I told you guys that in math, our answers are not as accurate. In differentiation, you get the accurate answer. Okay, so that's that's one of the reasons why we study differentiation. One of the most important reasons, okay? So in this, now that we already know how to find out the gradient of a tangent, in this, we learn how to find out the equation of tangent and also the equation of normal. And what exactly is a normal? That's something that I'll explain as we go along. Okay, so first we're gonna discuss the theoretical aspect of it and then I'll explain it further with the help of an example as always. Okay, so here I have a curve, okay? So I don't have the equation of the curve, okay? Like I said, we're gonna discuss this generally. And let's say that the question says that find the equation of the tangent, okay? At x equals to x1, okay? So that's what the question is that find, let's write this down, the equation of the tangent at x equals to x1. So I'm going to try and be as elaborate as possible and I'm going to make it uh, make you guys write this down in, in, in uh, stepwise so that you know you don't have to, so that you know how to do this systematically, okay? Okay, so now the first thing you need to know is what exactly the question asking for, okay? That's something that we need to understand first, that what exactly does the question mean when it's saying find the equation of the tangent at x equals to x1? Because we don't really have a tangent at x equals to x1. So, well, if you were, if we were to actually draw a tangent at x equals to x1, this is what the tangent is gonna look like, all right? So, there you go. Let's extend this a little, slide it up, yeah. Okay, now again, the whole idea is not to obtain an answer by uh, graphically, okay? This is just to get the idea across. Okay, so this is the particular line of which the equation, of which we want the equation, okay? So yeah, so the first thing we need to do is that we want to find the gradient of what? The gradient of the curve at x equals to x1, okay? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that this curve has equation y, I'm gonna say y equals to f of x, okay? So let me turn this uh, red because that's what we're using. Okay, so this is y equals to f of x. f of x basically means that it's a function of x. Okay, so step one, here's step one. Now step one is, like I said, that the first thing we want is the gradient of the curve at x equals to x1 is to find dy by dx or f prime of x, which basically means the same thing, is that in short, what we need to do is we need to differentiate the equation of the curve, okay? So that's step one, done, okay? Step two is that dy by dx alone, of course, is not enough for us, okay? We need a certain value. So step two is going to be that we're gonna plug in x equals to x1 in dy by dx or f prime of x. If you were to plug in x equals to x1 in f prime of x, so this will basically become f prime of x1, okay? x1 is basically the x coordinate. It's representing the x coordinate, okay? So after you've done that, what do you have now? You have the gradient of the curve at x equals to x1, okay? So I'll write it over here that right after doing this, you have now successfully obtained the gradient of the curve at x equals to x1, uh, or simply you have the gradient of the tangent, okay? So I'm just gonna put a check there that we now have the gradient, okay? So the format of the straight line equation that we're gonna use, the general for uh, the general equation is y equals to mx plus c, that's something that we do in math, but in ad math, we do y minus y1 equals to m x minus x1. Now, if, if we analyze this, 
we technically already have the gradient because that's what the gradient of the tangent is. We technically already have x1, okay? That's what, that's something that was given to us right at the beginning in the question. So what, there's, there's still a missing piece of the puzzle and that is y1, which is basically the y coordinate, okay? So it's basically this point right here, okay? I've highlighted it for you guys. So we have the x coordinate, but we don't have the y coordinate, okay? So what exactly that, what exactly is it that we need to do in order to obtain the y coordinate? Well, that's, that's what we're gonna do in step three, is that we're gonna plug in x equals to x1 in the equation of the curve to obtain the y coordinate, okay? So I'll write it over here that plug in x equals to x1 in y or f of x, okay? Not in the differentiated version because that'll take you back to the gradient, okay? You need to plug it in the original equation so that what do you have? You have y1 to obtain, so I'm calling it y1 so that we can distinguish or differentiate between y and y1, okay? So let me, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So this point right here is basically y1 okay once you've done this uh what do you have you have the gradient you have the x coordinate and you also have the y coordinate so it's just a matter of putting all these ingredients together and finally getting your hands on the equation of the tangent so here's step four step four is where you put it all together and find the equation of the curve uh, sorry equation of the tangents which is y is equals to in the form of y equals to mx plus c or you can leave it like uh well, you don't necessarily have to. In fact, it is ideal that you arrange it in y equals to mx plus c. I take my words back that it's not necessary. It is. Uh, it's it's recommended, okay? So y minus y1 equals to m x minus x1. So I'll just write it here that you put it all together to obtain the equation of tangent okay and what do i mean by putting it all together you have y1 you have the gradient you have x1 okay and after you've done that it's like i said it's recommended that you write it in y equals to in y mx plus c okay so this was all for uh, equation of tangent now what happens if the question is instead asking us for the equation of normal what is the one thing that we do different here okay so i'll, I'll do it over here equation of normal now first of all let's familiarize ourselves with what exactly a normal is okay so for that let's go back okay at this point if we were to have a normal to the curve at x equals to x1 of course that is going to look like this okay normal basically means making a 90 degree angle or normal basic normal to the curve at x equals to x1 means that a line that is perpendicular to the tangent okay so perpendicular means like i said making a 90 degree angle okay so as far as the point is concerned x1 and y1 that's going to remain the same okay because this is the same point from which the tangent is drawn and the normal is drawn okay one thing however is going to change is the gradient Okay, so that means now everything is the same, but the gradient is different. And if you remember from prior knowledge, when two lines are perpendicular, the gradients are basically negative reciprocal of each other. So one thing that's gonna change over here is that the gradient of normal, mn basically, I'll write it again, mn is basically the gradient of normal. And the gradient of normal is going to be the negative reciprocal of the gradient of tangent okay now if i were to if i give you an example let's say that the gradient of tangent happens to be three so the gradient of normal is going to be minus one upon three okay there are two things we do we change the sign and we take the reciprocal so the gradient of tangent like i said is let's say one upon two the gradient of normal is going to be two and if the gradient of tangent is already negative let's say it's minus five upon three the gradient of normal which is, is going to be three upon five so this is how you're gonna get your equa uh, the gradient of normal, and like I said, everything else remains the same. So now you're in your equation, y minus y1 will remain the same. The gradient, however, will be minus one upon mt, which means negative reciprocal of the gradient of tangent, like I explained, times x minus x1. And then you can cross multiply whatever it is that you have to do to bring it in the recommended form, which is y equals to mx plus c. So yeah. This was just the theoretical aspect of it. There were no values, no equations, nothing at all, just to get the idea across. And I hope you guys understood this well. 
So that's all for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one in which we're going to be doing some example questions. So see you then. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.